New this morning, the Pelham Fire Department wants to add more life saving devices across the city. Leaders are hoping to expand the public access to defibrillators. CBS 42 News reporter Conan Gasquee joining us live now in Pelham. So, Conan, if the plan goes through, we could see a lot more of these devices there soon, right? Yeah, that's right, Lee. They want to replace old ones and add new ones, and they want to make sure that all public buildings throughout the city of Pelham have these devices, places like City Hall and the police department, and they're even planning on adding one of these defibrillators to each squad car for the police department to make sure they're fully equipped for any type of emergencies they might face. I spoke to Pelham's fire chief about these ideas yesterday. He says they've done research and found that the city needs more AEDs in public places. They're important because anyone with the proper training can easily use one to save a life during an emergency. So more AEDs in more places can certainly make a big difference. They'd like to have them in city parks, the Pelham Golf Course, the Tennis Center, Racquet Club, and other public spaces. Anywhere that we're going to have any type of public uh, public gathering or public is going to be in and out of, we just feel like it's just uh, it's just imperative that we have those to where they can be applied to the patient as quickly as possible. And they plan to offer the public training courses on a regular basis so people can learn how to use these devices. But they are in the planning stages of this right now, so they still have some work to be done before they can implement all this. I'll tell you about the next stage of this process coming up in the next half hour. Live in Pelham, Count in Gasquay, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on.